What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be working on my 2021 Harley Road Glide Special. We're gonna be installing the Harley Davidson Curve license plate. So pretty much all that does is it just curves the license plate, it replaces this plastic license plate housing, and it comes with the metal housing. So to accomplish that, we have to go up underneath the fender, and there's two half inch bolts we have to take out. And once we take those out, this will pull off. And then there should be two little torque screws here. I believe they're T25s maybe. I'll let you know when we get there. And then we just have to screw the new one on and bolt it back onto the fender. I'll show you what's included in the kit and I'll show you the tools that are needed for this job. All right, over here at the workbench, this is the Harley Curve license plate. This is gonna be pretty much good for any touring models. Fits 2010 later FLHX, FLHXS and FLT RX models. So that's your Street Glide, Street Glide Special, and Road Glide and Road Glide Special. So what comes in the kit is you got the outside housing that goes on the outside of your license plate. You got some soft strips, which those go on the inside of the bracket here and here to help vibration. We have the actual piece that's gonna mount up to the rear lights. That's where those torques go right there. I will hang like that and then the license plate screws into there. As you can see, it's already threaded. So in here, I believe there's instructions in there, but we don't need those anyway. You get your little Allen head license plate screws, some foam bumpers to keep it from touching your fender and a new reflector, but I already have the stock reflector off of it. So we're not gonna be using that. So that's what comes with it. Now let's look at the tools you need for the job. So like I said, the two bolts in the fender are a half inch and I'm gonna be using a quarter inch drive. I have this cruise tool kit I, I always keep on the bike and it comes with this snazzy little quarter inch wrench. I like this quarter inch wrench because right here is like a standard and you could tell the size difference. It's very tight working up in the fender well. You know, I could jack up the bike and take the shock bolts off and, you know, lower the back tire and all that. Or I could even put the motorcycle up on the lift, but I'm just too lazy to do so. So we're just gonna make it a little bit harder on ourselves, but that's okay. So that's what I'll be using. Like I said, I believe it's a T25. So I'll take you guys up underneath the bike and show you what bolts we're gonna be removing. Alrighty guys, so I already went ahead and broke these loose, but that's the one bolt and that's the other one right there. So those are the two half inch bolts we're gonna be taking out. As you can see, it's a really hard angle here. So I'll catch up with you guys when I remove these. All right guys, so using a T25, taking that out and that out. All right, so now I got my license plate off from there. So we're using the same T25s. This up behind. At this point, we just gotta double up the foam pads and then get this reinstalled. This is where Harley says they want them. Now we can remove the towel and start to put the license plate frame back together. All right guys, so we got the bolts back up through, got that snugged up. We didn't record any of that because that was a pain in the butt to get those started and get everything lined up. So at this point, we can peel this protective film and then we can apply the foam pads that they want to prevent the license plate from rattling. So at this point, we got the rear bumper pads installed these isolators here to keep the license plate from rattling. So now we can go get the license plate and the uh, outside bracket, put that on. So now I'm just gonna start by putting these license plate bolts in. All right guys, so real quick, this took way, way longer than it should have. This should have taken 30 to 45 minutes tops. Where we had an issue is when the actual license plate gets screwed on with the uh, outer bracket, it just would not line up for the life of us. 
we had to trim the outside of the license plate so it could fit in to curve on top of that we also had to remove some of the, the foam that you saw us install because it just wouldn't seat up properly for us to get the screw started so just all in all it was those two bolts on the back half inch socket to take those off and it was a t25 to get the actual license plate bracket off and you reuse those bolts and then you just pretty much put the license plate on then after you put the the bumpers under here and then like i said we ended up having to take off the foam strip behind the bottom there just so it would get flush enough to the back plate to where we could start all the the allen heads to tighten it up i think the mod looks great definitely a pain in the butt to install it's one of those mods that should only take like i said 35 45 minutes and here we are an hour and a half, two hours later. It's always the smallest mods that always seem to take the longest time. I don't quite know why that is. Hopefully, if you guys are looking to install this for yourself, this video helps you out. As always, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that bell so you get notified when I post new videos. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace!